Those moments of joy in skateboarding are so fleeting. You could spend all day practicing a trick, and every attempt you make, you just fall. And there might be this one moment where you land the ollie or you're successful at whatever you're trying to do. And it's those seconds that change everything. You never forget those moments. Growing up in Utah, I had no tangible reference point for what it meant to be transgender and still be a skateboarder. The toxicity that dominated the skate parks was omnipresent. If you were anyone who existed outside of the core identity groups that kind of ran the skate park, there was an immediate response to that that was very negative. I would have never learned to skate if I'd come out back then. It really wasn't until coming to Seattle and seeing like a dedicated space catered to and ran by people like me that I was able to make that connection and be like, oh, not only can I be involved in skateboarding as a trans woman, I could pass along a lot of the teaching that had been denied to so many of us for so long. Do you want to try it one-handed? Yeah, let's try one -handed. All right, we can move at your pace. If I move too fast, you let me know. Yes. So I'm gonna put this one out here. How did you guys meet? Because I've heard this legendary story of like, the first time Alexa came to WT, I wanna, I wanna get the details. I feel like Alexa was like a legend in my mind before I actually like. Oh, so you knew, I like you heard, knew her? I heard you... of her. People were like, there's a new girl skater in town. And we were all like, and then I remember seeing you doing like kickflip manuals and shit. And I remember in my mind being like, yes, like somebody moved to Seattle that is gonna like push me to do shit that I'm always like scared of. Falling used to be a source of anxiety to me. I think the moments of fear are really propelled by the community around you. The consequence of falling or failing won't stop you from being a skateboarder. What stops you are people at the skate park who bully you out of it. I quit skateboarding when I came out as trans. I was really just going through a lot at that point in time, and I was still figuring out what my transness really meant to me and what that was gonna look like going forward. So something that I would do to kind of give myself a point of reference is after work, I would come home and I would just practice wing eyeliner for hours just over and over again because I knew that it was something that I wanted to do, but I also knew that people regarded it as something that was really difficult to do and I just wanted to be good at it. That was 
a little anchor when I still didn't have everything figured out. I had gotten to a point where I was like, all right, we're hanging it up. Like skateboarding doesn't have a place for me. And it was like mm -hmm. right at that moment that it was like, well, what if you stumbled upon this other thing? Like, what if the universe Yo. just showed you something yeah. really cool? That's exactly my experience. Because in high school, I definitely fully quit skating for almost an entire year. My childhood experiences, in some ways, they've been extremely traumatic and have held me back. But I'm honestly grateful for them because I come to work every day at Skate Like a Girl being like, I'm gonna make sure that somebody that otherwise would have felt like this isn't for them, it is. Come as you are. That's the vibe I wanna put out there because that's what Scalar Girl created for me. Falling to me now is a source of energy because the people around me are hyping me up and we're pushing each other forward. I think that this injury has been an opportunity to like recenter myself inside skateboarding as well as outside of skateboarding and be reminded that I have the ability to make sure that skateboarding in the future can be a better version of what it is now. Even just an incremental pace forward and in inclusivity in skateboarding. With your left foot, that's your power foot. Same kind of thing I was just telling Osha. Your knees are not only bent, they're far apart. Yeah. And that is going to be a safe place to throw that board to the other side of you. Okay. You got it. I got it. You hear that scrape? Okay. That was a good scrape. We love that scrape. Okay. Yes, dude, that's Cross exactly it. right. These fleeting moments have become so much more important. There's no guarantee that this is going to last forever. And so that's brought me back to a place of gratitude with skateboarding. I want to pass down what I know to the next generation of queer and trans skateboarders so they don't feel excluded from the space. Skateboarding is an incredible thing to experience as an individual, but ultimately it's best shared with your community, gathered in one place, taking up space, Representation in skateboarding is on the forefront right now, and I'm so excited to see the flavor that it adds to skateboarding down the line.